Hey, hello, Raymond and Jan. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you for your time the other day. We appreciate it. Let's take a look at one of the, actually four, we have in mind. This was, I feel, your favorite fifth wheel, if that's the route we go. Grand Design Solitude, that's their highest end, uh, line-wise. This is 40-odd feet long. This is that one with the bath and a half. It's the front bath. So we wanted something maybe with a really nice bath, and that's what this has. And then uh, Raymond, I think he liked the living room on this one as well. Two big awnings, you can kind of see those out there. Outside speakers at ear level, which is nice. Plenty of basement storage. It's got central vac. Right there. Place for plug in a TV outside if you want one, but lots of storage. Also has an electric cord reeler. These 50 amp cords are pretty thick and heavy. Could be kind of a pain in the rear to manage, but Grand Design will give you a electric cord reeler up here. And we'll reel up the cord on that for you. you remember we have the uh, RV park here, so you'll be able to spend the night in whichever one you pick and learn it thoroughly and know that everything works. You can kind of see up on the top there, we've got three air conditioners r40 insulation on the front cap and the roof with an 18 year warranty on that roof anytime you see a water heater with the round part here uh, that's the instant tankless hot water heater six point hydraulic one touch leveling with those controls super conveniently put right here for you You'll have some more storage in the front here. Let's take a look at the interior. Three-year warranty on the structure. That includes your slide outs. So, residential refrigerator, large oven that you can actually fit a turkey in nowadays, four burner range. 30 inch convection microwave, all solid surface countertops, large fireplace that'll offset your propane usage for heat, all kinds of different accent lights with double duty here. I really like that they have not only, I might have lost power here. No, there you go. You got everything from a touch screen here and you can double duty this from your phone but also it's got the backup of the actual buttons for a lot of those things. Here's all your accent lights. You can make the interior pop any way you want it to look with all the different accent lights that you can play with. Half bath, really tall ceilings, porcelain toilets in both, not plastic. Lots of storage even in the bathroom, the half bath. Full pantry with the motion sensor light in there for you. Three pull-out drawers. It'll come, it looks like, with the uh, tire, sense, tire pressure sensor, TPS, tire pressure sensor monitor. Here's your big oven that'll finally cook anything you want it to. I don't know where this thing's pointing. There it is. 110 outlets everywhere you need them. The little accent light here underneath the countertop you can turn on or off. Metal undermounted sink, kind of a half divided sink. Four top there. Recliners are electric, which I really like because. Usually with the ones that just pull. You only have two different positions to sit at, but with the, with the electric ones, you've got an unlimited amount of places you can stop it where you're comfortable. Directly across from your fireplace and your television. So you can have a window there when you want a window, but also 
with the push of a button, you finish putting this chair down. You got a big 50 inch TV. And that button is right here. All the cabinetry is solid hardwood, all pocket screws, blackout shades throughout the camper, and great big windows with tons of natural light. So there's your 50 inch TV all set up. It's a smart TV right from the beginning. So you can stream to it. Little wall sconce lights you can have either on or off, of course. Lots of storage even above your couch. The couch makes into a full queen bed pretty much. And then I think I showed you guys how that worked. It's an easy trifold. 110 and USB at the inside of each couch with their own little storage nooks. Lots of kitchen storage everywhere. There's all your remotes. I think I'm going to put the awnings in because it's getting pretty windy. So your awning buttons you can do from your phone, you can do from the touchpad, or you can do from right here. I'll put them in about halfway. And then show you the bedroom and the bathroom. That should keep it together. So upstairs here, here's your central vac, Jan. And your main bedroom, this one has a king bed. Again, 110 and USB on the foot of your bed. You have some nice storage underneath your bed that's on a hydraulic lift. Television, of course, another smart TV right at the foot of your bed. A little more hidden storage here on your dresser drawers. A couple places to sit down and put your shoes on. And then the piece de resistance is this bathroom, which is killer. Dual vanity. You can do just the accent, Oops. just the mirror light, looks sharp. And then you have additional lights here. Really well done. One piece molded shower, glass enclosed with body spray wand and a rain shower head and then pretty much a walk-in closet because it is a walk-in closet <laughs> I am in the closet so to speak figuratively no literally I'm literally in the closet not figuratively let's get that from the get-go so washer dryer here I don't think you guys are going to need that so this is all closet for you guys Sweet. That'll help you with the resale a year down the road or so that it does take a washer dryer because not everybody's as fortunate as you are with your piece of land, big piece of land. So yeah, this is uh, this was your first choice. I'll do a short one of the rear den, which was kind of the second choice fifth wheel. Then I'll do a quick one of the Rockwood, the little guest house. And then I'll do one of the bungalow destination trailer. So you'll be able to scroll through each of the videos and kind of discuss among yourselves. If you're not going to get a park model of some kind or a double wide, this would really work well. So I'll text this to you, but my number is 406-696-4750. 406-696-4750. Truly do appreciate your time. It was fun meeting you. I say that about everybody, but I don't, I don't mean it about everybody. <laughs> I mean it about you guys. So 
406-696-4750. 406-696-4750. Yep, it's a Montana number. Don't be scared. I'm in Buda, Texas. Let's go camping.